We've probably all stumbled or lost our balance at one time or another. For space station astronauts, it's a pretty common occurrence when they return to Earth's gravity. A study is now looking at astronauts' vestibular systems. That's part of your inner ear that controls balance to see why this happens. And what they learn could help folks with those types of balance problems here on Earth. Sitting down, standing up, it may not be as easy as you think for crew members coming back from the space station, but there's a study 20 years in the making that's looking into that. Dr. Mel Reschke joins us now. Tell us about this study. First it was a pilot program, now it's turning into a real investigation. Yes, in cooperation with our Russian counterparts, we're looking at functional performance. And one of the things that we're particularly interested in is how the vestibular system behaves. The vestibular system being those organs in your inner ear that uh, maintain your balance and help you see when your head is moving. And because we're in the field doing this, we can't ask somebody to walk, for example, on a treadmill and see how they can read while they walk. Mm -hmm. So we simply bounce them up and down <laughs> while they're trying to read a display. Tell us all about this gear, though, that she has on. Well, we're looking at inertial sensors. They're the ones that are blinking here that give us estimations of the person's angular acceleration and the angles that they are experiencing relative to the ground. We have uh, cardiovascular parameters that we measure, heart rate and blood pressure, as well as uh, EMG from the legs. And so when a crew member, once they get out of the Soyuz, then they suit up in this? Immediately. Okay. They're taken to the, to the uh, uh, medical tent and uh, Right away, we start putting the hardware on them and doing the uh, testing. So Igor here was, was bouncing her up and down. So what is that for? What, what, what does this simulate? Uh, this simulates walking. Okay. And uh, it also is in a plane that uh, you expect to see as, as you walk and is probably going to be less provocative than doing some other kind of a test of the inner ear organs. Now we're talking about this with crew members, but this is helping folks on Earth too. Absolutely. We're dealing with an aging population now. And countermeasures for the kinds of, of difficulty that they experience is what's really needed. Quite frankly, crew members are not terribly stable on their feet. Jack Schmidt having a few problems. We saw several times, if you recall, the moon flights where the crew members fell down. Mm. And we're actually preparing for that by measuring recovery from a fall. So we simulate a person that has fallen down and ask them to stand up. And once Because we get to Mars, there's nobody there to help there's us nobody, stand there's up. There's nobody to, there to help you. And uh, once they're standing, they stay standing for three minutes. Oh. This, this allows us to look at the cardiovascular parameters in terms of uh, fainting, for example. All right, let's see if she can stand up. Oh, that's better than I could do. And so you stand there for three minutes, three. and that tells you what? Uh, we're looking constantly at the position of the body, mm -hmm. sway, how much they're moving, as well as uh, heart rate and blood pressure. So how many tasks do we look at? How, how many little exercises do they have to go through? We have between 12 and 13, including the Russian activity that we, we engage in. Okay, and mm -hmm. so you have one more for me. One more for you. You're All going right. to do what's called a tandem heel-to-toe walk, which okay. uh, we do with the eyes closed and the eyes open. Wow, I've never done this one before. I promise, I promise Mom. All right, so... Cross my arms. Cross your arms. Close my eyes, heel to toe, yep. and walk. <laughs> See, I have no balance, and I've not even been in space. So, so what's the point of this? The point of this is that this particular test looks at Can't do it. <laughs> at, at, uh, at neurological function as a whole. You know, okay. from the brain on down to the feet. Wow. And, well, uh, mine apparently doesn't go together, yeah, so. Yeah. And uh, you did better than some astronauts. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I'll take that. Thank you, Dr. Eschke. Yes.